ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೂರ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎವೇರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ then the remaining concepts will become very very easy for you that's why first four or five units something like language fundamentals operators flow control these kind of things better to have clear clarity automatically remaining things will become very very easy for you people right okay so now the first topic language fundamentals right this is the topic what i have to discuss as a part of language fundamentals okay we have to talk about introduction introduction are what is python why the name python oh, why the name python like uh, sir general syntax related things i will i will explain next uh, application areas of python sir where we can use uh, this python okay next uh, features of uh, python either python in the open source or not platform independent or not portable or not like uh, features of python next uh, limitations of uh, python limitations uh, sir where we can't use python okay like uh, next the uh, flavors of uh, python okay multiple flavors are available for the python sir as it is the open source like uh, jaitan anaconda python iron python like uh, multiple flavors are there i will explain next uh, sir what are various versions python 2x 2.x python 3.x like uh, we have to discuss about these version related issues right next uh, identifier concept we have to discuss reserved words concept we have to talk and then data types concept we have to discuss right sir under data types concept almost around 14 data types we are going to discuss of course all these things are fundamental data types i will explain but all these things as a separate topics we are going to discuss in the next sessions also but here basic idea about the data types what we are going to use in python so we are going to discuss right next type casting how to convert from one type to another type is it possible like so this is the agenda related to our language fundamentals concepts sir almost around the, so around the, around the 10 hours uh, we are going to discuss only about these uh, things uh, that's why take a bit very very special care to understand each and every point sir if you are very strong in the basics then the remaining things will become so easily you can able to understand the remaining things will become very very easy that's why please please make sure you should have clear clarity you require to spend much time on this basics right okay sir let me talk about language fundamentals introduction part sir first question i will ask can you please tell what is a python please respond what is python <laughs> python we are going to discuss python python almost around two months or three months time we are going to spend on this on this what is python please spell out can i use the word can i use the word it is uh, uh, what is python don't tell sir this is one type of snake <laughs> regret him don't tell it is one type of snake sir in our technical terminology it is a programming language observe that it is a programming language language right we can develop applications by using this language it's a programming language okay like small small applications web applications like we can develop applications by using this python sir best example you are using calculator application i'm sure if you know python you can develop that calculator by using our python language what we are using sir okay gmail application you are using gmail gmail.com that gmail application we can develop by using python remember so what is python sir python is a programming language okay well sir now i can use the word python is high level programming language are you getting python is high level programming language then immediately you may ask what is high level high level means uh, programmer friendly language 
we are not required to worry about uh, low level things are you getting right it is a programmer friendly language not a mission friendly language remember this one sir it's not mission friendly programmer friendly programmer by simply seeing the code he can understand he can write the code very very easily right it is a programmer friendly language but not a mission friendly language remember low level activities so being a programmer we are not required to worry sir what it means here observe that if i can take a is equal to 10 i'm taking 10 b is equal to 20 i'm taking a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 <coughs> 30 if a greater than b else 40 i'm taking 30 if a greater than b else 40 i'm taking print a c sir <laughs> are you getting print of c sir here do you know if i can take this code are you in the position to understand this code okay you are not required to have any programming knowledge remember this one you are not required to have any programming lang la knowledge just observe a is equal to 10 oh the value of a is the 10 b is equal to 20 the value of b is the 20 c is equal to 30 if a greater than b 30 if a greater than b else 40 sir so a what is the value of a 10 10 greater than 20 no no 10 is greater than 20 fails so if if it satisfied 30 otherwise it is 40 then obviously what is the value of c sir the value of c we are going to get what 40 sir if you have the kid can you please show these four lines of the code to your kid? Are can you tell what what thing is happening? What thing is happening? Any person without having any programming knowledge, I'm sure, sir, that person can able to understand. Okay, this type of thing is called high level programming language. Remember that. What is the high level programming language? So just a programmer friendly. He can able to. He can understand very easily. He can write very easily. Right. Okay. Well. Sir, next uh, low level activities are there. Memory management, next uh, destroying objects, next uh, security. These uh, things will take care by my language itself. Being programmer, we are not required to worry. Such a type of languages are by default considered as yes, high level programming languages. C language, C++, Java, next uh, Python, C Sharp, all these are high level programming languages. right? Then immediately you may have the doubt. Sir, you are writing just four lines of the code. Is it really Python code? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Yes, believe me, it is really Python code, sir. It is going to print uh, 40 other uh, answer. If you want, uh, observe a bit very carefully. Sir, same lines of the code I want I want to show so that you people can feel more comfortable, right? Sir, what is the what is the code? A is equal to 10. What I'm trying to take? B is equal to 20. C is equal to 30. 30. If A greater than B, else sir 40 i'm taking else i'm taking 40 print of c that's all don't worry sir all these lines of the code we will explain in the next sessions very clearly just better to get the basic idea sir okay well now let me let me run this code sir i have to save this code yes i have to save this code yes tester.py okay means that so it is the python file remember that i saved this code as tester.py i saved sir now let me run this code sir okay let me go to that location let me go to that location i saved this file inside d colon durga classes okay py py test.py okay we have to use py or otherwise otherwise python test.py hey python can you please execute my test.py python can you please execute my test.py like this right a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 like uh, sir this is if i execute this code what is the answer by default you are going to get sir simple 40 itself is the answer you are going to get take a bit very special care so means that 
don't get shock it is perfectly valid code only okay this a type of code is called high level high level programming language code programmer can understand very easily programmer can write very easily low level things like memory management security these kind of things my python is going to take care so this a type of language is called high level programming language are you in the position to understand right okay one thing next uh, one more observe that carefully sir it is a general purpose it is the general purpose it is the general purpose high level programming language so what is the meaning of programming language which can be used to develop programs next a high level means a programmer friendly programmer friendly general purpose means do you know python is not a specific to particular area happily you can use for any type of applications right desktop applications web applications next a data science applications machine learning applications like everywhere happily you can use it is a general purpose high level programming language itself is nothing but python everyone can aware yes friends so only three words i covered what is the first word what is the first word general purpose for any type of application happily we can use python high level means programmer friendly low level activities we are not required to worry like memory management security like next programming language which can be used to develop programs this is nothing but python sir okay well sir now who developed python who developed 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 python sir very very simple do you know there is who is the father of python okay who provides food for most of the programmers across world wide like me and like you now everyone talking about python means uh, the person who created this python who is the father of python sir that person is uh, here just observe can you please read this one can you please read guido guido van van rosam are you getting Guido Van Rossum, this person developed Python. So, in which year? First, I want to show his face once because our career, our life is going to be settled with this Python language. Compulsor, we have to see and we have to get the salute man because that person provided food for us. Okay, have a look once. I saved one image, 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 this, this person image. Have a look once, man. okay the person who introduced python who who is the creator of the python yes sir, this person sir guido van rossum observe that a bit a bit carefully sir great great person who developed world world the top most easy simplified programming language this person only he is called guido van rossum okay well sir when this person developed the python programming language sir here there is one small point is there sir until last year okay i learned only java c c++ java we never heard about python especially in india we never heard about python okay like but suddenly python okay now the people are start learning obviously python is a new programming language java is the old programming language some people are going to feel like this remember this one sir so java came in 1995 remember this one sir java came in which year 1995 sir 1995 and officially released in 1996 sir remember next uh, python when this python came sir 1989 only remember this one 1989 only so here means that it is the old language even than java also remember java came in 1995 or 1996 sir but python came in 1989 it is the old old language right then immediately you may have the doubt sir why suddenly it became popular yes i will explain the reason also just observe so who developed python language guido van rossum developed python language in which year sir 1989 clear right okay sir while working in national research institute while working national research institute in netherland 
in Netherland. So this person Guido Van Rossum worked in Netherland National Research Institute. While working there, he developed a Python programming language. Sir, in which year this was happened, sir? 1989. Remember that. So even it is developed in 1989, but it's not released to the public immediately. In 1991. In 1991, Sir Python made available to the public. Happily, you can use this programming language, you can develop the programs, right? So, officially, Python released into the market in 1991. The official date of birth for Python is February. Okay? February 20th, 1991. The great day which where when the Python was introduced to the public, where introduced to the market. February 20th, 1991. Official date of birth for the Python. Friends, is it clear for all of you, right? Who introduced the Python? In which year this Python got developed? Next, officially, when it released to the market. So, it is developed by Guido Van Rossum in 1989 while working in National Research Institute, Netherlands. But, officially, this Python made available to the public in 1991. February 20th, 1991 is the official date of birth for the Python. Up to this, any doubt? Clear, right? Now, immediately, you may have the doubt. Sir, Python came in 1989, but suddenly, why in the 2019, very popular, sir? Why it became popular? Everyone talked about this. Uh, why it became trending language, right? Sir, very simple example. I will, I will discuss. The market requirements keep on changing time to time. Market trends keep on changing time to time. Sir, now current market, current market situation is everyone talks about, everyone talks about simple language. Easy to understand, sir. Simple. I want a simple language which is uh, easy to understand. Are getting easy to understand. I want this type of language. Next, the second one, I have to write very less code. Are you getting? I have to write which codes are very less code to fulfill my requirement. This very less code is also known as concise code. Very less code is also known as concise code. I want concise code. Okay, like next uh, third one, sir. Very important. Next uh, third. I want uh, these days, everyone talks about, everyone talks about, sir, here artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, next and after that machine learning, machine learning, next uh, deep learning, neural networks, okay, neural networks, that is the data science, data analysis, like, uh, everyone talks about this. So, for current uh, trending market requirements, even, sir, you know, IoT also, these days, the most common user, IoT also, right. So, for these uh, trending requirements, best suitable programming language is the Python, sir. So, now, for these requirements, current, current market requirement, so what the best suitable programming language is the Python. That's why these days, uh, Python became popular and more popular. Everyone can have a So, you have some diamond is there. But when when there is a value for that diamond is yes, if a market requirement is good for that then automatically this diamond value is growing sir bitcoin was there earlier bitcoin no one no one bought bitcoin but these days bitcoin bitcoin cryptocurrency like uh, everyone talks about that automatically bitcoin price got raised like anything of course now government's banned uh, slowly its value is rising down okay so means that current market trending requirements which language is going to be best suitable python itself is the best suitable that's why python language became more popular everyone can able to understand right so two points i covered what is python general purpose 
high level programming language next uh, who introduced python guido van rosam introduced python in 1989 while working national research institute in netherland but officially sir python made it available to the public in 1991 official data but for python february 20th 1991 sir why suddenly python became popular even it is the old programming language but current market trending requirements best suitable compatible language with python that's why it is it became more popular when compared with other languages up to this any doubt about this in the last video we covered clearly what is python what is python who introduced python what is the official data birth for python now i will explain sir if you want to learn python what are various prerequisites are there sir i don't know anything about programming can i learn python or not sir i'm i i know testing i know manual testing so can i learn python or not sir i'm coming from network background no programming knowledge can i learn python or not Sir, this type of questions uh, in my offline sessions, online sessions are very, very common, sir. So, just uh, aware only one point. If you want to learn Python, what thing is required? What the uh, prerequisite? What existing knowledge is? Simple nothing. Remember this one. You are not required to know anything. If you know something, then it may be the problem. <laughs> Remember that. You are not required to know anything to learn Python. Just uh, are you in the position to read the English statements or not? Okay? If you can read English, uh, that thing is more enough to learn Python. Okay? That's all. So that's why even school kid also can learn Python can write programs by using python that's why don't worry sir if you want to learn python if you have the kids if you have the kids better to bring those kids also if you are getting some doubt your kid can clarify that doubt okay that much easy programming language is the python sir orally you can tell any number of words but can you please show some example really is that much easy or not yes man okay if you learned any programming language, if you learned any programming language, what is the first application? Hello world application. Correct or not? What is the first application we have to discuss? Hello world application. Sir, in C language, how many lines of the code we have to write to print hello world to the console? If it is the Java, if it is the Python, just I will show, sir. Example 1. To print the hello world to the console. Sir, if you go for C language, C language code, okay, here do you know, main, of course, C language code if you want, here, ash include, ash include, stdio dot h, sir, I don't know about this, not required, we are just, I am showing, just see the basic difference, sir, like, now, I am taking, main now i'm taking main main method main function like uh, here just uh, my requirement is print f of hello world print f of hello world like this we have to take that's all this is the code uh, related to c programming language and uh, we have to compile this code and we have to run this code then hello world will be printed to the console assume that sir sir oddly one two three four five five lines of the code i wrote okay excellent now if i consider java java code what we have to write in java to print hello world sir very simple public public class public class test public class test in java everything we have to write inside a class because it is object oriented programming public class test and then public static public static void main method public static void main method string array arcs public static void main string array arcs and then system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln 
here we have to take hello hello world hello world like this i'm taking sir hello world and then i have to compile this code i have to run this code so to compile most of the people are already aware java c test dot java the code is going to compile once the code compile now java test are getting once the code compile java test of this is the this is now you can say hello world hello world to the console right so if this is the java code what i have to write to print hello world just let me show sir now instead of writing orally let me show that output also matter of one minute have a look once i have to write java code okay don't worry even you don't know java i want to teach java don't you are not required to worry sir so public class test i'm taking next turn after that public okay static void main method public static void main and then string array accept okay like now system dot out dot print ln of hello world of hello world like this i'm taking sir hello world like sir now let me save this code yes test dot java like this i took sir test dot java now let me go to the console okay java c test dot java we have to compile we have to compile yes the code compiles fine java test okay like happily hello world will be printed to the console okay how many lines of the code we require to write to do this almost around the seven lines of the code seven or eight lines of the code we have to write okay well sir now if it is the python if it is the python how many lines of the code we have to write how many how many lines of the code we require to write okay if it is the python sir can you please guess if it is the c language almost four or five lines if it is the java language almost around seven lines of the code we wrote can you please confirm if it is the python how many lines of the code is required only one line <laughs> only one line what is that line is print of print of hello world are getting print a hello world that's all okay semicolon is also optional print a hello world like this right only one line itself is enough we are not required to compile just run that's all okay how you can run sir python python test dot py assume that i saved this line inside test dot py python test dot py or shortly some in some system so we can take py py test dot py also will work sir okay either this command or this command instead of python you can take just a py happily it's going to run okay let me write let me show this one sir okay here have a look once sir i have test dot py is there in the print ah uh, hello world like this i'm taking sir hello world hello world like uh, no semicolon next instead of double quotes you can take single quotes also acceptable okay happily do you know just uh, i want to compile python test dot py yes hello world or py test dot py hello world is the answer you are going to get have you observed right now just uh, to print hello world if it is the c language how much code we have to write if it is the java how much code if it is the python how much code we have to write only one line so if you show this code to your kid okay you are a school school student some third standard fourth standard kid is there sir can you please explain about this code like you can ask your kid dad what you are doing are getting dad what you are doing i didn't get anything are what is public what is class what is test what is public static why it means string array like he, he may not so if any kid coming to learn the program program programming language if i show in the first class this is the hello world program like uh, do you know what will happen is that kid will run like anything i don't want this programming line uh, i don't want this programming like uh, but if you show this line are this is the simple it is the easy way of programming definitely that kid can be yes easily can able to understand like uh, so when compared with any other language either c language or java language c++ or your c sharp dot net okay the easiest programming language is the python language man okay how many lines of the code we have to write 
Please confirm how many lines of the code I wrote? Only one line. That is what the concise code. Are you getting? That's what concise code. Not only hello world program. In every area, in every area, Python is always showing yes some some kind of mechanism, some benefit when compared with other languages. Right? Easiness, easiness, concise code, library support makes Python as more popular these days. Remember, are you in the position to understand? Right? Simple hello world program. Let me go for one more example. What I want to take is array to print the sum of two numbers. That is about my requirement. Are you getting? I have two numbers up there. To print the sum of two numbers, I require to print. Okay? Have a look once, sir. I will go for that. Sir, I want to print the sum of two numbers. This is my next program. If it is the C, how we can write the code? Java, what is the code? Python, what is the code? So that is really Python is the beautiful programming language or not? You can able to observe, sir. Observe, observe carefully. In C language, what's my requirement, sir? The sum of two int values I want to print. Okay, well, sir, here I'm taking hash include. Okay, std io dot h. Std io dot h. Next, the uh, main method. Main method like some people may have the doubt. Sir, you didn't keep return type. Return type. Default the return type is int. Sir, if you are not writing return zero, automatically is going to take care. We are not required to worry. Main. Sir, in that I am declaring int a comma p. How many how many variables I declare? Two variable. Both variables are what type? Int type. Int values right. Now a is equal to ten. B is equal to twenty. What is that, sir? Can you please tell? A is equal ten. B is equal to twenty. Like now, print F. Print F. The sum. The sum is a percentage D comma the sum percentage D comma A plus B. I have to take, sir. A plus B. Like I have to take. And that's the main method. Getting right. This is the code we have to write. If you want to print the the sum of two numbers a and the b, first we have to declare variables, and then assign some values, and then try to print it, sir. Simple program only. If it is the Java, for the same requirement, how we can write the code? Requirement is the same. How you can write the code, sir? Very simple. If it is the Java based, sir, have a look once, sir. Class test, of course, public class test, class test, public. Public, static, public, static, void, main method. Public, static, void, main. String array acts. String array acts. I have to declare two variables a and b. Int a, comma b. I have to declare two variables a and b. Int a, comma b. Next, a is equal to ten. B is equal to twenty. Okay, just I declare a is equal to n, b is equal to one. Now system dot out dot println system dot out dot println. Okay, the sum the sum is plus because println is always going to take only one argument. Okay, the sum is a plus b like this. I am taking end of this end of this one. Do you know how many lines of the code we wrote? Multiple lines of the code, sir. So we have to declare. And we have to initialize, and then we we are going to take the print sum. Let me execute this code. Matter of one minute, right? Observe carefully. I hope already the skeleton is there with me, sir. Public class. Here I'm just declaring two variables a and b. A is equal to ten. B is equal to twenty. Next, uh, here the sum. Are you getting here the sum? The sum is the sum is plus. A plus B, I'm taking sir. That's all. This is about my requirement. Let me compile this code. I hope this is the Java code, sir. To print the sum of two numbers, sir. This is the Java code. Let me compile this code. Yes, friends. Java C test dot Java. 
and then java test what the answer we are going to get the sum 30 30 is the answer we are getting sir okay well this is the java code what we have to write to print the sum of two numbers how much code we have to write compulsory the person should aware what is class what is main method and then what is the system dot out dot print ln like all these things must be required but if it is our python our hero is coming sir if it is the python okay python can you please spell out how many lines of the code i have to write listen very carefully sir here have you observed what is the first line we wrote int a comma b and then a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 declare here in python i'm taking a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 print a print a the sum print a the sum a plus a b i'm taking that sir a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 print of the sum a plus b like this i'm taking that's all we are not required to write oh big code just only two or three lines of the code is more enough let me execute this one have a look once here see this see this one here i'm taking a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 print a print a the sum print a the sum a plus b are you getting print of the sum a plus b let me run this code sir let me run this code py test dot py are you getting py test dot py can i get the same output or not yes sir this is the same same output right okay like. so how many lines of the code we require to write only two two or three lines right sir even i can combine the, these two lines uh, into a single line also <laughs> are you getting even we can combine these two lines into a single line also what is that sir a a comma b is equal to observe carefully a comma b is equal to 10 comma 20 no other language is going to accept this type of syntax like c or c plus plus or java a comma b is equal to 10 comma 20 so this 10 will become value of a 20 will become value of b okay like let me do this here observe carefully instead of a b a comma b is equal to 10 comma 20 10 comma 20 that's all the sum a plus b i will look once the sum 30 you people may feel sorry showing old output only again <laughs> let me change something 100 comma 200 a value 100 b value 200 the sum a plus b means uh, 300 is the answer we are going to get sir are you are you seeing right so this is the biggest advantage of python programming sir how beautiful it is with very less code we can do n number of activities that's what what you people should aware what is the what is the python so to learn python what prerequisite is there is nothing sir you should be in the position to read english statements that's all it's not like a program it is something like a reading english statements okay like english statements but not programming code okay well sir by seeing this code immediately some people may have the bigger doubt observe carefully sir in c language do you know you declare two variables a and b of what type respond man what type inter type we declare two variables of what type inter type here also we declare two variables of what type inter type inter type in java also we declare but here i didn't declare a and b a and b are what type we didn't declare so sir in python is it not required to declare the type type concept is not applicable like you may ask very very simple type concept applicable in python sir int float these types are there in python but but we are not required to declare type explicitly such a type of headache is not there so means uh, whenever we are assigning some value based on your provided value automatically type will be considered remember this one sir automatically type will be considered based on your runtime provided value such a type of programming language is called dynamically typed programming language remember that sir so in python we are not required to declare the type explicitly based on your provided value automatically type by default will be considered 
this type of programming language is called what dynamically typed programming language dynamically dynamically typed programming language can you please give an example which are dynamically typed programming languages best example sir python python javascript python javascript etc multiple languages right so type declaration headache such type of things are not there okay in python but in java compulsory each and every variable should be declared with a type without a type you can't use any single variable also such type of programming languages are statically typed programming languages are you getting right what is this one statically typed programming languages best examples are c language c++ java these are things are statically typed programming languages so one more important point sir okay type addicts also not there in python any doubt so are you going to learn easy programming language or difficult programming language sir any prerequisite is required to learn python nothing sir if you don't know anything well and good if you know something then it may be the problem are you getting sir i don't i'm not having any programming knowledge can i learn python yes you are the best person to learn python man sir i know java can i learn python yes you can learn but every time you are going to compare python with java then obviously you may get confusion that's why so don't don't worry at all so to learn python nothing no prerequisite is required easily you can learn that's why so do you know so for the beginner you have the first programming language if you want to learn better to go for what yes friends you have the best you have the first programming language for the beginner if you want to learn better to go for python that's why in our colleges first c language next c++ java like but that style got changed now first python after that any other language okay so easy programming language is the python in schools in india there are some schools are there cbsc central syllabus 8th standard or 9th standard python programming language is there in schools remember not in at least intermediate plus 2 also in the school itself for the subject is there that much easy programming language you people are going to learn so be ready to give left and right to the python clear sir just now i told dynamically typed based on runtime value automatically type will be considered correct right sir can you please show some idea we didn't get much clarity about this one can you please show some idea like you may ask very very simple sir do you know in in java if you consider int just i'm taking a is equal to 10 observe very carefully sir in java if i can take a is equal to 10 immediately error error hey what is the type of a where you declare the type okay like immediately error we are going to get type compulsory we have to declare regarding otherwise error sir but in python a is equal to 10 so python virtual machine never going to object what is the type of a because so which value you provided 10 10 10 so based on 10 automatically type will be considered sir where is the proof how you can tell that it is it is a 10 it is the int type how you can tell it is the int type very simple sir print print type of a can you please print a type of a type of a now it is going to tell the int type sir remember this one it is going to tell int type let me show this one have a look once sir very very carefully observe that here here let me take a is equal to 10 print of print of type of a print of type of a now observe carefully sir what is the answer class int type it is what type int type in type sir suppose instead of 10 if i can take 10.5 if i can take 10 10.5 10.5 means uh, float type float type it is called float type next uh, sir instead of 10.5 i am taking true true like this right what is the type sir bool type boolean boolean true false means bool type like uh, type will be considered automatically based on our provided value clear for all of you right next one more advantage i will tell sir what is that advantage is in java if i can take int a is equal to 10 observe carefully int a is equal to 10 now a is what type 
respond a is what type int type what is the value 10 sir now after some lines a is equal to 10.5 i am taking sir in java a is equal to 10.5 i am taking java compiler will give left and right hey, it is int type how you can assign double value it is the int type how you can assign double value like a compile time error so throughout its lifetime this a is always what types are int type only okay but in python do you know what is the type of a int sir in the next line a is equal to 10.5 i can take next line only a is equal to 10.5 now on words a is float type variable if you want uh, you can print uh, type of a type of a now you are going to get float type sir okay next after that immediately i am taking a is equal to durga a is equal to durga it is the string type are getting now onwards a is acts as durga so throughout life a is always in type throughout life a is always float type no such type of terminology whenever you are assigning different type of value automatically a type will be changed as per requirement are getting that's why same variable we can use with the multiple types possible right okay let me show this this one so a is equal to 10 i'm taking sir a is equal to 10 print type of a now it is int type okay well now after that suddenly i'm taking a is equal to 10.5 10.5 print of type of a sir same a only sir once this line assign now onwards it will become float type now onwards it will become float type have you observed right now onwards a will become float type now a is equal to durga i'm taking sir print type of a print type of a now onwards it will become string type are you getting str type str means what string type like this of course all these types i will explain in detail don't worry sir so this is a more easiness more flexibility to the programmer not required to declare the type explicitly next a based on our requirement you can use the same variable with the different types also that possibility is there this nature is called dynamically typed programming language which is the more flexible to the programmer clear right now i will explain sir why guido van rossum selected the word python okay can you please anyone can you please guess why he selected the name python for his programming language okay he may select the guido language van language or rossum language like why he selected python hmm can you please spell out sir very very simple very very simple sir if you are fan of sunny leone then automatically for your bike you will keep the name as sunny are you getting something like uh, if you are the fan of uh, okay just the, if if you are very much impressed you got impressed uh, like anything so maybe you are fan of some hero in our hero so you are trying to use uh, same names uh, in your passwords in your user ids it's a very common common right the same way this guido also very fan very much impressed with the one fun show comedy show okay in telugu we have jabardasti extra jabardasti like a oh, full comedy shows are there in india Ka- coffee with karan like there are some programs are there sir comedy comedy shows fun shows in the tv tv like so there was one one fun show is there okay sir the name is the complete uh, the complete uh, monty the complete monty pythons pythons circus the complete monty pythons circus circus okay like so do you know this is the comedy show which was uh, broadcasted in bbc okay 1969 to 1974 okay guido very much very much impressed uh, our rosam very much impressed uh, with uh, this uh, show so it's a fun fun okay like a fun show oh, from this he selected the word uh, python to our programming language 
<laughs> Remember this one, sir. So, sir, why the word Python? Sir, because of snake or because of anaconda, like no such a type of reasons, right? Why the word Python got selected? Okay, our, our, who developer, our father, father of uh, Python, this person, very much impressed with, with this show, fun show, the complete Monty Python's circus, okay, which was broadcasted in the BBC in 1969 to 1974. From this, the name Python came in the picture. Sir, not only this one. Sir, for any name, there is some story is there, sir. If you consider Java. Java. Sir, just uh, only two minutes. I won't take much time. Java. Why the name Java came in the picture? Do you know James Gosley, who is the father of Java, sir? Why, why the name Java came in the picture? He is very, very simple, sir. Do you know? They used the word. They developed some language, programming language. They required some name. So what uh, in the building, just uh, beside their window, there are oak trees are there, sir. Oak, oak trees are there beside the window. Then automatically, these developers thought that, James Gosling team thought that, hey, we can keep oak, oak name for our programming language. Like uh, they, they decided oak as the name and went to the registration. But whenever they approach a registration, Woke, this word already registered with some electronics company. Sorry, we can't give this name. Then automatically they have to choose other name. Then usually, so they will go, they will very much fancy. The James Cosley, who is the father of Java, they are very much fancy about one coffee flavor. Tea, coffee, coffee flavor. That coffee flavor name is Java. <laughs> are you getting that coffee flavor name is Java, Java. That's why they choose the Java name for that programming language. Are you getting just uh, based on the coffee flavor name they use? Uh, that's why the name Java came in the picture. Next, uh, do you know somewhere you may heard about Hadoop? Hadoop, sir. For the Hadoop, what is the logo for Hadoop? Ayo, Hadoop, big data man. Big data. What is the logo for Hadoop? Ah, logo, logo for Hadoop is, uh, do you know, something like a uh, yellow elephant uh, with cap. Correct or not? Yellow elephant with cap. If you want to observe that, okay, some people may not aware. So, do you know Java logo? Java. Here, if you, if you observe, Java logo. Java logo. Observe that. So, do you know, this is, this is the Java logo. Okay? The logo this is the this is the java logo why because james Cosling team they are always prefer java flavor tea java flavor coffee that's why they use this word java that's why logo if you if you consider if you if you consider why coffee cup logo in java <laughs> the reason you know right hadoop uh, what is the what is the hadoop logo if you consider hadoop logo are you seeing right yellow 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 elephant are you are you seeing yellow elephant elephant you can see sir yellow elephant sir who is the father of hadoop who is the father father of hadoop sir just the cutting some name sir yes cutting dog dog cutting cutting is the name sir you know why this uh, yellow yellow color elephant came anyone can you please tell the reason very simple the reason for that is sir hadoop means big data big data means elephant is the big animal that's why the name that's why the name uh, hadoop uh, big big elephant uh, that's why they selected elephant as the logo no no so they are discussing they are discussing about logo which logo we have to keep and so on so this cutting and is a team just uh, they are analyzing which logo we have to keep like uh, so whenever these people are thinking about that suddenly this uh, sir uh, cutting uh, is a son he is playing with uh, a small yellow color elephant okay he is playing with a small yellow color elephant toy toy okay small toy yellow color elephant toy he is playing sir okay then immediately why don't you keep this name why don't you keep this one as the logo for our hadoop then automatically this person selected remember that by mistake if his kid uh, is playing with a uh, red color snake uh, maybe red color snake maybe logo sir okay please make sure so there are some reasons are there internally why the names are coming so for python from where the name is coming sir the complete monty the complete monty python circus from here the name came just if you want uh, here just uh, have a look once sir what is the what is the show name can you please spell out what is the show name the complete the complete uh, uh, the complete uh, monty 
Monty Python's Flying Circus. Okay, the complete Monty Python's Flying Circus. If you observe that, these are various logos, right? Remember this one. These are various, various. Uh, so do you know these? Uh, these are various images related to that. Observe that carefully. These are various images. It's a, it's a simple fun show. Are you getting? This is the simple, simple fun show. Fun show, sir. You can, you can see. It is a simple fun show. Maybe, uh, sir. In this, are you seeing Python, friends? Are you seeing Python? Python, like uh, Python's, like uh, so. From here, the name Python came in the picture. That's all. This is the reason, right? Okay. Well, any doubt? Now I will explain very important a special feature of the Python. What is that? Is observe carefully. If you consider C language, if you consider C C programming language, can you please tell C is functional programming language? What is this one, sir? Can you please spell out? C is functional programming language. Functional programming language is the C, sir. If you consider C++ and Java, C++ and Java, these are object-oriented programming languages. C++ and Java. If you go for Perl, okay, Perl and the shell script. If you go for Perl and the shell script, these languages are scripting languages. Are you getting scripting? Scripting languages, right? These are scripting languages. If you go for, if you go for modular, okay, like these are these are scripting languages, right? C missing the benefits of object-oriented because it is the functional programming language. Next, uh, so if I can ask C, oh, C, can you pro please provide support for inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation? Like C person is going to tell what all these things. I don't know nonsense. I don't know like. Uh, so because this person is not object oriented it is missing the benefits of object oriented programming if i can ask a c++ and java c++ person okay java person immediately yes i am object oriented programming language so i can provide benefits of reusability inheritance code inheritance next step polymorphism encapsulation like all the things i can talk like are can you please talk about functional programming like if i can ask these people sorry man i can't sorry man i can't but slowly java slowly lambda expressions are these functional now these days these people talk but actually they are not object uh, functional programming languages next are scripting languages these people just a group of lines one by one one by one we have to execute that's all like this right so every language having its own specific behavior so that uh, that specific paradigm benefits only they are going to get sir what about python is it functional programming or is it object oriented programming or is it a scripting language like you may have the doubt okay sir very simple while developing while developing python while developing python okay how the python language while developing python guido borrowed uh, functional programming features functional programming features okay functional programming features uh, from c language from c language he borrowed functional programming features from c language that's why so python is a functional programming language okay well sir next uh, he borrowed uh, object oriented programming language features object oriented programming language programming language features uh, from uh, can you please tell while developing python whoops features whoop whoop uh, object oriented features are borrowed from which programming language respond man uh, object oriented programming features are borrowed from which language okay don't tell java because at the time of developing python java was not there remember so borrowed from c++ okay that's why python is object oriented programming language next uh, he borrowed uh, scripting language features scripting scripting language scripting language features uh, from from peral from peral and the shell script from peral and the shell script that's why python is a scripting language remember 
ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಬರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ವರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ವೇರ್ ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ಡೇಟೆಡ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ನೌ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಈತ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈತ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಸರ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ರೌಂಡರ್ ಅರೆ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಾಂ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರೀಡ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ರೌಂಡರ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ರೌಂಡರ್ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಡಿಕ್ ಮಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಥಿರಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಓಕೆ can you please show at least 2 or 3 minutes sir basic idea say what it means right sir anyway this one is completely outdated don't worry remaining three things sir what is scripting language what is the what is the scripting scripting language right scripting language means a group of lines will be there a group of lines will be there this group of lines will be executed one by one one by one no functions concept no classes concept just see a group of lines one by one one by one he is going to execute is nothing but scripting language right now have a look once sir i am i am taking i am taking here just a print print python python as a scripting language python as a scripting scripting language like this right i took this one i took this one so do you know just a uh, group of statements i'm taking sir almost six statements i'm taking like if i execute this first statement second statement third statement like all these statements will execute one by one one by one no functions concept no class concept no object concept happily it is going to run sir have you have you observed right now this is have a look once sir py tested at py yes python has scripting language scripting language like happily it's going to run sir okay well now my next requirement is sir i want to use python yes yes sir like uh, functional programming very simple define a function define define a function and uh, write whatever the code you want and uh, call that function based on your requirement this is the c language approach c language approach right how you can do in python okay very simple observe carefully sir here i'm taking d e f f1 i'm writing a function sir print of python as a functional programming language functional python as a functional programming functional programming language like this i'm taking sir okay let me write uh, a function here i write a function of course this function contain four lines of the code now you can call this function based on your requirement any number of times okay sir i want to call this function f1 f1 now let me execute this code sir observe this is called uh, declaring a function and uh, this is called uh, calling a function okay now i want to call this function observe carefully sir yes python yes functional programming language yes functional programming language like this it's going to work sir okay well sir now i want to use python yes object oriented programming language like c++ or java so you can write a class within the class you can define a method create an object and then you can call the methods related to that class okay object oriented programming how you can observe carefully here i'm taking i'm taking a class test i'm taking a class test d e f m 1 of self d e f m 1 of self print of print a python yes object oriented programming language object oriented programming language like this i'm taking sir object oriented programming language like this sir like like i have now create an object t is equal to test sir t dot m1 can you please create an object t dot m1 like so that's all 
so i am defining a class i am defining a class within the class i am writing a method next i am creating an object for that class and then i am calling t.m1 means that method right okay like sir immediately you may have several doubts sir what is self sir what is the depth sir what is the class like all these things i will explain in detail don't ask these doubts now just for basic idea purpose i am explaining all these things we will discuss in detail next sessions don't worry sir just get some idea that's it okay now let me execute this code let me execute this code python yes object oriented python is object oriented programming language right so now in the intro your room may be a chance to ask the question are what is python is it functional programming language or object oriented programming or modular or scripting language like simple answer you have to tell python is respond man python is all rounder are getting python is all rounder python x yes so every every programming language paradigm python is a functional programming language python is object oriented programming language python is scripting language python is modular programming language remember this one sir next uh, most of the syntax used in python are borrowed from most of the syntax used in python borrowed from c language and the abc language okay c language and the abc language so 1989 terminology this language but these days people already forgot c and the abc languages from these languages most of the syntax borrowed in python clear for all of you right so what is uh, python next of which is syntax what about programming paradigms clear sir where we can use a python okay i told already python is the general purpose programming language in every application area happily you can use python sir sir now we can use python to develop desktop applications are you getting to develop desktop desktop applications right then immediately you ask sir what is the desktop application the applications which are running in a single system stand alone application which are running in a single system are called what desktop applications right best example calculator is there if you observe that calculator calculator is there sir so this calculator sir to work to this calculator program can run on a single system or not yes 10 plus 20 10 plus 20 itself is 30 we are getting so here to execute to run calculator how many systems are required only one such type of applications happily we can develop by using python sir do you know develop calculator by using python is a small mini project a small application right okay well sir next uh, we can develop web applications right okay we can develop web web applications best example sir we can develop web applications like gmail gmail application blog application online e-commerce applications like uh, so like amazon flipkart next and after that like blog applications we can gmail application facebook like uh, so we can happily develop uh, web applications by using python there are multiple specially designed frameworks are there to develop web applications like django flask pyramid okay like multiple multiple frameworks are available right okay next uh, even network applications also python networking it's a very hot area sir network applications also we can develop network applications also we can develop by using python sir okay like uh, charting applications charting applications client server applications like we can do that next uh, do you know sir we can develop games also there are several modules are available games games development happily we can use python programming language next uh, for data analysis applications uh, data analysis applications right next uh, machine learning applications machine learning applications deep learning applications uh, neural networks uh, artificial intelligence iot applications like 
everywhere happily we can use python programming language so that's why it is a general purpose programming language clear for all of you right so where we can use python so desktop applications we can develop web applications we can develop network applications games development data analysis okay data science iot artificial intelligence like right? you know all these areas happily you can learn okay this uh, happily you can use python so do you know in amir pet somewhere in in our regular courses data science course is there data science uh, through python data science through r language are you getting by r language by python like python is the best choice for data science applications also that's why you should aware once you learn python yes everywhere next level yes happily n number of opportunities by default will be there for you you can enter into multiple domains okay like next uh, which software companies are using python okay which which companies are using python sir sir python used by google sir google using python next uh, yahoo using python okay yahoo facebook using python facebook facebook using python next uh, nasa nasa using python sir nasa nasa itself next uh, do you know nasa itself is using next uh, dropbox dropbox using using python netflix okay like uh, multiple companies are using python okay so if you want just uh, have a look once uh, sir i'm just uh, searching in the google i want to just uh, search search in the google saying uh, top companies using python okay top top companies using python okay like like just uh, i'm clicking this one sir just searching for this now observe that now observe okay here yeah. eight uh, world class software companies using the python eight uh, world class software companies that use python have you observed just have a look once industrial light and magic google facebook instagram spotify quora netflix uh, dropbox uh, like a uh, dropbox like like they are using sir if you observe images like uh, just i'm clicking images right sir in the in the images you can you can see here have a look once uh, sir have you have a look once here if you if you are seeing this one just uh, do you know youtube the popular youtube video sharing system is largely written in python next uh, google makes extensive use of python in its web search system web search algorithm sir there there python python is going to play the role next uh, dropbox storage service uh, codes both its server and the client software primarily in python okay dropbox client and server both are developed by using python okay here raspberry pi the raspberry pi single board computer promote python as its educational language remember next uh, sir bittorrent bittorrent peer to peer okay file sharing system began its life as a python program began its life as a python program remember nasa uses python for specific programming task nasa next and after that the nsa uses python for cryptography and the intelligence analysis okay just uh, do you know security national security agency right sir next uh, netflix and elf like uh, so every every company itself is using using python sir next uh, if you go for another another thing sir do you know sir can you please uh, have a have a look once about these uh, these things right almost do you know almost around uh, 20 to 30 companies are covered in this uh, slide top companies using python okay amazon amazon uber ibm ibm like uh, so almost all the companies red hat uh, yahoo mozilla okay send grid uh, like uh, udemy like uh, there are multiple multiple companies are using python sir please make make sure you people should aware that's why so uh, believe python definitely python is going to provide food for you man <laughs> okay definitely python is going to provide good good career for you people right okay that's all hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly the basic introduction to python what are various application areas when compared with the other languages what is the advantage of python like we covered right sir now the next thing what i have to discuss what are various specific features are there for the python okay python features we have to discuss about python python features right sir you know java person is going to come he is going to dance in front of you 
ओके अरे कैन यू प्लीज स्पेल आउट व्हाट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ यूर पाइथन मैन कंपेयर विथ जावा सी प्रोग्रामर इज कमिंग सो ही इज गोइंग टू डांस इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस व्हेन कंपेयर विथ सी व्हाट स्पेशलिटी यू हैव लाइक वी शुड बी इन अ पोजीशन टू गिव लेफ्ट एंड राइट टू जावा पर्सन टू सी पर्सन सो व्हाट एक्स्ट्रा फीचर्स आर देयर व्हाट स्पेशलिटीज आर देयर फॉर द पाइथन कंपलसरी यू पीपल शुड हैव क्लियर क्लैरिटी सर सर नाउ सम इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स जस्ट आई लिस्ट आउट वी आर गोइंग टू perform post mortem about these features right okay have a look once sir what is the first one simple and easy to learn simple and easy to learn first one next up freeware and open source it is the freeware and open source next high level programming language it is the high level high level programming language platform independent platform independent next up portable portability next up dynamically typed yes sir this is a bit very important sir even you have some basic idea about this one dynamically typed next up both the procedure oriented and object oriented sir it is also a big speciality for our python both it is all rounder both procedure oriented and object oriented right next it is interpreted next extensible embedded extensive library are you getting extensive library it is also a big speciality for the python are you getting so these are 11 features whatever i listed so that we have to perform discussion we have to perform post mortem about these things right are you able to understand right what is the first one simple and easy to learn second one freeware it is open source high level programming language next the platform independent portability dynamically typed both procedure oriented and object oriented interpreted extensible embedded and extensive library these are various important features of python sir okay now let me talk about the first one sir now the first feature related to python it is a simple and easy to learn simple and easy to learn programming language is a python sir very simple if you want to learn any language whether it is a general speaking language or programming language first we have to aware words which words are there in that language like suppose if you consider english language english general speaking language right how many words are there in english i'm not talking about alphabet symbols alphabet symbols 26 but how many words are there okay do you know crores crores of words are available sir crores crores of words are there words are there in english so do you know if you if you consider a dictionary almost this size dictionary also will be there oxford dictionary this size dictionary also will be there so each page in that dictionary contain thousands of words so if you want to learn english very perfectly compulsory you have to aware all these words remember that but uh, if you consider java programming language okay i want to learn java programming language how many words how many words are there just a 53 words you have to aware sir remember that so when compared with english learning english language java language is the very simple but if you consider python programming language python language just we have to aware only 33 words 33 reserved words the person who can understand these are 33 reserved words then automatically the expert in the python are you getting so it is a very small chota programming language is the python very easy to learn easy to learn simple programming language right next if you consider sir java code code also not only reserved words right code code also if you consider java code if you consider python code there's a big difference there python code is a something like a reading english statements remember this one sir python code is a something like a reading reading english statements best example sir if you if you observe ternary operator is there in java sir have a look once suppose x is equal to x is equal to here i'm taking 10 greater than 20 10 greater than 20 colon question mark 30 like this i have now observe very carefully sir so 10 greater than 20 question mark 30 colon 40 if i if i ask any person are can you please uh, observe this line 
what this line is doing if i can ask uh, out of 100 99% of the people are going to fail yes they don't know about the meaning of this syntax unless and until if they know java okay the people who know java they can they can tell oh this is bob ternary operator this is the condition if it is the true 30 is the value if it is the false then 40 is the value like do you know if i show this code compulsory java expert only can able to understand this line correct right okay like but um, if i the same thing in python how i can write the same thing in python how i can write observe carefully sir x is equal to x is equal to 30 sir 30 a 10 greater than 20 30 if 10 greater than 20 else else 40 are you getting 30 sir if 10 greater than 20 else 40 like this right now if i can ask this one 200 non programmers are what it is doing everyone can tell even school kid also can tell are if 10 greater than 20 then 30 sir otherwise 40 is the answer so you never going to feel that it is you are reading you are reading so programming instruction it is something like a english language remember that sir sir not only conditional operator almost every syntax every syntax in python itself is a very simple resembles english language right suppose i'm taking sir i have a a is equal to 10 is there b is equal to 10 is there i want to check a and b both are equal or not okay a is a b or not <laughs> are you getting a is b or not like you have to ask a is b a is b both are pointing the same object something like a is b or not like we have to ask same way sir employee is not none employee is not none how i can ask if if emp is not none <laughs> if emp is not none sir don't feel sir this is the english statement no man it is perfectly python code so seems to be reading python code means you are going to feel that reading english statements sir. that much easiness is there in the python sir python contain how many how many words right only 33 reserved words if you ever these are 33 reserved words then automatically python will become so you will become python expert right okay well next uh, another biggest speciality for the python is concise code okay what is that can you can you spell out sir what is that code concise concise code what is the meaning of concise code is less code less code so we can do big big activities also with very few lines of the code sir okay with very few lines of the code we can do because of that the biggest advantage what we are going to get is uh, do you know we can reduce development time we can reduce cost of the application remember this one sir so obviously development time is going to be reduced uh, cost of the project development will become down so which is very cr very critical to the client sir very essential to the client so another speciality for the python is uh, concise concise code so development time is going to be reduced cost of the project development will be reduced sir okay like uh, length of the code will be less uh, obviously readability by default is going to be improved sir so this is the easiness will be there in the python you can learn very easily it is a very simple programming language sir just a small example i want to take assume that assume that i have one file is available sir assume in my system i have one file is available sir abc.txt observe a text file is there sir now this text file contain some data is there assume some data is there are write a python program write a python program to read the data from this text file and print to console are you getting and print to console this is my requirement are you getting right write a program to read the data from this text file and the print to to console this is about my requirement right have you observed how much code we have to write if you go for c language oh big code if you go for java language buffer reader file reader line by line reading and then printing to the console a big activity we have to do but in python but in python how many lines of the code is required sir <laughs> how many lines of the code is required one line one line is more enough remember this one how many lines of the code is required one line is more enough that one line i'm ready to write sir which file data you have to read 
एबीसी डाट एक्सटी वेरी सिंपल ओपन ओपन एबीसी डाट टी ओपन एबीसी डाट टी सर ई ओपन एबीसी डाट टी रीड डेटा ना डाट रीड डाट रीड रीड नव यू आर् गेटिंग द डेटा प्रिंट दीस डेटा प्रिंट दीस डेटा देन आटोमेटिकली प्रिंट दट इट are getting open abc.txt and read the data and print that read the data to the console that's all single line which is going to read the total data from the file and print it to the console how beautiful this code observe that sir let me show sir i'm not telling just orally i want to execute this code I have a look once sir in my system in my system there is a file is available named with abc.txt observe very carefully sir named with abc.txt is there sir okay welcome to durga soft python course sir it is uh, like like i have i have some some code is there sir it's a very easy course even kids also can learn like this i'm i'm taking sir now my requirement is observe that i want to write the uh, a python program first uh, what i have to take open open which file sir abc.txt okay dot read the data yes you 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 completed reading and this total data i have to print that's why print of print of like this right okay so this total open this file have you observed just observe i open abc.txt file and then read the data after reading the data after reading data can you please print that data okay like only one line only one line now let me execute that code sir if i execute py test dot py have you observed whatever data is there in the file you can you can able to see sir in the in the you can see in the in the console so that much a simple code is the python so you can learn very easily sir without having any prerequisite without having any programming knowledge so if you can go for c language this much easiness is not there if you go for java this much easiness is not there so in the world for when compared with any other programming language python is a very simple language you can learn very easily right clear for all of you right